What's up guys, it's Dr. Yaz. And I'm Dr. Sharisha. One of the most common questions I get asked is how can I not get cancer? Nobody wants to get cancer and surely there's gotta be something we can do about it. So we put together a video for you guys. Here are seven things that you can do to try to reduce your risk of cancer. As always, please check out the links below for more information and, and here, here we, we go. go. Number one, stop smoking. Everybody knows smoking is bad for you and that it causes cancer. And it's not just lung cancer, but it's also cancers of the mouth, throat, stomach, pancreas, liver, Basically colon, every cancer. Blood. You know, I spent half an hour doing this. Okay. <laughs> and if you're still not convinced, smoking makes your skin age faster. So you won't be able to have flawless skin like Sharisha's. Uh. <laughs> Number two. Tanning. While everybody loves their sunlight, too much exposure to the sun can be very bad for your health. And unfortunately, if you're as pale as me, then there's no such thing as a healthy tan. Tan skin is the result of damaged skin cells, the cumulative effect of which can increase the risk of various skin cancers, including melanoma. And that includes tanning beds. So don't forget your sunscreen. Number three. Vaccines. And this includes the hepatitis B vaccine, which reduces your lifetime risk of developing liver cancer. And recently, the FDA just approved an expansion, so you can get your HPV vaccine up to the age of 45. And this reduces your risk of different types of cancer, including oropharyngeal cancer or throat cancer, cervical cancer for women, and anal cancer and other types of cancers. So, go get your vaccines. Number four. Alcohol. Everybody's favorite motto is moderation, but even that being said, a recent study suggested that any amount of alcohol may not be completely safe. And in fact, alcohol increases your risk of breast, colon, lung, and liver cancers, and the risk increases with the amount of alcohol. So put down that wine bottle. I see you. Number five. Safe sex. STDs such as HIV can increase your risk of cancer. And if you think you've been exposed to STDs, please go see your doctor right away. Number six. Diet and exercise. The World Cancer Research Fund estimates that around 20% of cancers are related to obesity or physical inactivity. And it also has been shown that decreasing your intake of red meats, increasing your intakes of fibers, whole grain products, and non-starchy fruits and vegetables decrease your risk of cancer. Furthermore, the American Cancer Society recommends that adults try to be physically active daily and get about 150 minutes of exercise per week to help you improve your risk. Number seven. And finally, always remember to check in with your doctor. If you have any questions or concerns, remember to take control of your health and go see your doctor at any time. Yes, and also make sure that you're up to date on your age-appropriate cancer screening. To learn more about how to screen for cancer, you can watch the video on screening guidelines for cancer. We hope you liked this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you found this video helpful, please feel free to share it and subscribe to the channel. And tune in for our next video. See you next time. Bye-bye. I think this was good. Yeah, okay. I liked it.